in the sky, it means you only have four people on the ground, right? So the brawl is way less brawly. So blue team should really play way faster than they do right now. You can see that adjustment in the Lucio, maybe. Yeah, uh, Pharah's already expanding. Pharah's uh, finding good damage here. Uh, yeah, Resley here is going to actually have to back to his Reinhardt and use that that roll to get out now. I am in guitar, just hovering over the enemy team and looking to find something. Oh, and team moves are close up there. And Coalescence coming through from Baritone, but that's going to be Twid finding shades as Pigs are coming through with 4 3 Apocalypse now. Resley finds two more on the point. They're going to take control of this. Yeah, Resley getting rid of Feral Mercy here was big, actually. So the Fer the Feral died before the Mercy did, so I don't know what happened there from um from the, t from the red team, but the Feral gets rolled. I don't know that like, the Mercy separated from her or if, but I don't know, but the Feral died first. That's not supposed to happen when you play Feral Mercy, but it's a very good pick here from Re Risley. So what's gonna happen there is the red team has four ults and blue team has like two, three ults coming up. But I think the barrage is gonna be a very key. Uh, if they use the, the bubble for a combo, it might be uh, just a, a fight winner right there for for the red team. Yeah, that bubble could be massive for keeping I am guitar alive. That far ultimate leaves people very vulnerable. But now shiny is gonna throw the grab and there it comes. Oh, they didn't expect that combo it at all. coming through. Two That's kills from combo. the barrage. They played it very, very fast, actually. They they never saw it coming. The graph from the high ground there, the barrage, like, I'm, I'm gonna take, took a rotation all the way behind and came back from the point to barrage on the flank. That was a very good play, very good communication here from Francine Red. Yeah, that's how you Panthers gold, making some good plays, taking the advantage right now in percentage. Hailstorm sent reeling with the ultimates. Somewhat even, actually, now. You can see a lot come out as the Death Blossom comes through first. Oh. Jay, the Resley finds a pick on I am in Guitar, but it might not be enough. Now Keener on the Reinhardt is going to find a pick here. The Shades okay. finds three. Shades yep. does go down the Reinhardt. Very good tree K, but it's gonna be enough. Uh, Team Blue is gonna have to back up there. They don't have enough. Like, they'll have three picks there. They need to back up because they don't have the control of the point yet. So, the win condition there for. Oh, they use a lot of ults there. So, Red Team is gonna have Shatter and Coalescence. But, Blue Team is gonna come on the Ainu, Shatter, Coalescence, and uh, yeah, Blossom. So, oh, Shatter is getting invested here by the Reinhardt. And a big pick on Mercy from Red Team. And the Blossom is coming on point. Two picks for the Red Team there. And they're probably just gonna clean it up like nothing happened. And yeah, they got it. Oh, Baritone is getting picked by the Reaper there. Oh, they look too big, but they're fine. They're gonna win the point no matter what. This is the last fight to retire for Red Team though. So if they just tag their ults and they, they keep them for the for last fight, they're just gonna win this. And that Shatter from the is gonna be blocked regardless. The shield was up, but the bubble was gonna be right behind it. So they do get the point, however. At the end yeah, of they fight. do. So now, what's the what's the win condition for Team Blue there? I think uh, Coalescence Engage is probably the only thing that can save them there. They're not a lot of holes. They might just want to... Oh, they use Coalescence very early. That's a very dangerous Coalescence there. They can't even take, get any value out of it. They, they're trying to push very far with Coalescence, but it's going to be useless. They wasted like three quarters of it. So, oh, that's a Shatter coming out from Red Team there. Oh, that's... Oh, oh he gets Counter Pin. And the Barrage is coming out, breaking Ryan Shield and killing Ryan. Oh, and the Zarya. That's two pick Red Team there. And they're engaging with Coalescence. That's... Oh, they're high noon kill the Moira though. But isn't going to be enough. Oh no, I'm getting her killing Lucio and they're raising the Rhino top of that. Raising is doing what he can to win this Ooh. fight, but the Pharaoh's is way too strong and the Moira's going to end up dying there. The, or the ball is coming in for the stall. Is going to be enough though. Is he going to buy enough time for his team to come back? I don't think so personally. Well, the Rhino's is coming back, but he doesn't touch and oh, die. The red stall, team is just going to... Oh, Overtime is bigger there. With 1% here, they could potentially have a touch, but with two downs from yeah. the very hard. Shatter, yeah, Shatter comes through, but yeah. it's too late. Even finds a pick, not going to mean much though. As FIU yeah. Panthers Gold takes this first point, it seems, with a few contests coming through, however. Chad is coming on a Tracer and killing everyone. The Mercy Rising, the Moira on top of that, is gonna be over for, for the blue team there. Well, that was a pretty good on the ball, but not quite. And I feel like it. the red team is a little bit more dominant there. The blue team is pulling it so up, because I think, like, their DPS are, are doing a, a lot of job there. The, their mm -hmm. mech is definitely, like, very... He's creating a hard time for this Pharaoh on the red team there. But I don't know if they're going to be able to play Pharaoh on control center though. I'm, an, I, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen there. Maybe they're... Maybe that... Is it good? Is my, I'm a guitar is probably good at other things, but... I don't know. Are they going to win with all the Pharaoh on this point? That's what I wonder. Who's probably yeah. better? And I believe we've seen I am a guitar on the Junkrat here before. Obviously Junkrat, what we've seen come out on this map. Uh, Pretty consistently, actually. Yeah, junk run on control that. center is very good. Even in the Overwatch League, this, this the rat is getting played. So I, I, I you know, it's a very good character on this map, honestly, because of the you know close corner map. So now so. Keener again is going to take that white room first to even his team. It's going to catch up Eden actually. Oh. Very early pick on the and we see J-Star two six nine goes down. Now Shade sort of front running has to back out. 
as uh, all of FIU Kansas are going to back out right now. That's a pretty big early pick for Apocalypse. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see where Lucio was, but he wasn't... I don't know if this was just an unlucky rebound at the wall by the jump grenade, or if it was just like an overextending from the Lucio by the dead. That's definitely not good, with, like losing your engaging goal at the beginning of the fight right there. Ooh, and Panther's goal does try to touch, but they back off and end up giving up the point while the Reinhardt also goes down at the end anyway, so they have to back off again here. Yeah. Two early picks to really shut them down and even just goes to They lost early picks, but they didn't engage the fight, so they didn't they only lost two picks there, but they're still they're losing a lot of time, but they're not like giving the enemy team a lot of full charge there. So it's still a winnable oh. fight. The tires coming up from Imagadera there and getting to oh the rebrought of the fight is very big. The brawls the, the corp to brawl is dead right now. And it, though the say oh that's a big tire from Eden though. Is it turnable? Oh Coalescence is getting invested from some red there. Are they gonna be able to win even with a coalescence there? Coalescence coming through now, on to the point. Gonna make a lot of space, the Ryan's protecting each other, but as the big pin comes through, I am gonna try this fight. Oh, this that's a big pin on the Reaper right there. I don't know if it was even intended. I, oh, this wow. pin, I don't know. That was a big pin though, killing the Reaper again. A Reaper going back in spawn for, for like the second time in 10 seconds there, that's crazy. So, oh, okay. Uh, the red team is gonna go for, a, for a, a, a very close chokehold right there. Oh, maybe not. They're just standing with John Fred and the Reapers just trying to put some damage on the left side there. But the team is engaging. As much pressure as they can right now. They can find their way through that choke point. The big coalescence and Baritone coming through. They have the beat if they need it, but the Shatter gets blocked yet Good again and a bigger Shatter. Bigger Shatter from the red right there. That's a very big Shatter there. <laughs> That's a big, big, big carry play from Bill Billionaire there. He blocks the enemy Shatter and then he shatters himself and gets a way bigger Shatter and allows his team to win this fight right there. That's a very good shatter there. Very good. So ult wise, I think the red team has the advantage there. They're gonna come up with they're gonna come up with five ults. They only use shatter on this fight to win this. And the blue team is doesn't have beats, doesn't have goal essence, and they only they only have tire and grab. So the, the red team is at a very good position right now. That's the very good grab. Goes out the grab and the tire comes through in guitar, it finds two now. No, oh, that's that's they only use two ults there, and they still have like Worlds coming up very soon, so that's a very good position to be in as well. But Blue Team is coming up on their oh, okay, Resley killing himself for some reason. Um, I don't know if this was supposed. Okay, let's not question it. So, <laughs> what can the Blue Team do to win next fight? It's probably last fight Terry Terry right there if they played slowly enough. So, the grab tire combo is probably the only thing that can save them right now, and they're pulling it up right now. You still using me a little early. Oh, two picks from Eden right there. This is very big. Red team is uh, trying to invest Coalescence to gain some time and potentially win the fight, but it's not going to be enough. Coalescence was a little late there. The two picks with the tire were way enough for Blue Team to win this. Resley finding some late picks. Now Twid finds a little cleanup there. Is 90% in the favor of Panthers Gold, however. Oh. Apocalypse going to have to do some more. Dacus finding himself down to a snipe of a fire strike. Yeah, they're going to be able to make some big very quickly today. there. The red team is recontesting right now. They know they have a begin to lose here. They know it's a 5v6 uh, for them right now. So if they take the fight, they're potentially going to win. Especially if they have like very good ults. Oh, Resley blossoms red in the back. Diamond Guitar oh. finds a pick, but three come through for Hail uh, Apocalypse. Sorry. Shades finds a pick, but Baritone's Coalescence is going to get one. They're going to hold on to this point for now. That's a good news for Blue Team, but it's also pretty bad news because they use two of their ults and they have like only beat and shatter for next fight there. Except that if they beat their grab very, very fast, the red team has a very good advantage there. So if they just use their ult correctly on paper, you should win this fight. Very this true. Huge ult advantage. I'm a guitar with the tire off the left. Gonna find Resley yet again. Poor Resley, these tires have been his pain. Oh, now yeah. the shatter coming through. Keener again finally finds some. Three go down to that shatter. He finds himself stunned. He's able to block the death blossom now. Two picks and Keener stepping up right when his team needed him here to clutch out that point possibly if they can mount a retouch here. That's that's coming that's through for me, and that could finish it off. I'm guitar finds two though. He goes down. That's a big pick, but more come through for that's Panthers a gold. This could right go now. either way. The Moira's coming back to build the Zarya. Zarya should die there. She has very low. She's actually HP. She's getting yelled by the Moira, and the red team is coming back faster than the blue team is. Oh, he, missed one health. he just picked up a health kit though. He tracer. finds a pick. Oh, blue this is a one v one. This is just a duel. Ryan got a touch of point three. Oh no, they're, I think they're gonna go. Oh, the Lucio touch of point right now, but it's too early. They didn't even trigger overtime right now. They need to come back on point. It's not gonna happen. Oh, two. Is Ryan gonna touch here? Ryan's touching, but he's all by himself. The Reaper's gonna shred him very fast. And they throw. Oh, that's a big grab. Sorry for me there, but they have a beat to counter that. He's gonna get away. It doesn't go into the tracer though, so that's big. Keener again, very low here. Finds himself just alive, but not quite. 
The coalescence comes through just a few moments too late, and now two picks are through for Panthers Gold. Yeah, would they be the advantage there? That was pretty obvious. They got two picks. Red Team got two picks, and they're using coalescence to close it up as well. The Doomfist, Eden is dead right now. It's only a 3v6 on point. They should really, they should die very soon. They bring the bison time for the team to come back. It is working out. Our Madeira main tank, um, Keener, Keener again is coming back on ball, but this isn't going to be enough though. No, ball just died right there. Oh, it's a big pick from Elson, the Lucio right there, but it's not going to be enough. The Lucio's trying to stall the point, but now overtime is going out so fast that they just want to find this point. So that that's a win for that's the first map win for FIU Panthers win right there. That's yeah, pretty. Some, that's a very good game plan, honestly. I'm surprised. That's a very entertaining match. Yeah, I would say so. I think at the end of the day, the ultimate usage uh, is what sort of went better uh, for yeah, Panthers yeah. Gold. Things like Shatters and Coalescence were coming out in just slightly better values. So. I agree. I agree. I think every time I was looking at like uh, uh, at the um, FIU old charge, there were just like five or six ults every time. I mean, maybe four or five ults. And then I was looking at like. I was looking at 4 one trio charge and they had like two trios and they didn't use like really correctly, right? So I think it's like red team's efficiency when they use old and like their old um, economy is way better than uh, for one trip apocalypse. All right, and we're going to roll to a three minute intermission. Everybody stay around for the rest of this exciting match. See you later.
with you, boy. Real wasn't real with you, boy. You won't give me too much chances. I don't care. I'm fine. I'm fancy and brighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. I'm telling you. All right, we are back here for an exciting round two. Just a little bit of a something of note here. A four on three hailstorm. Another team in this tournament beat Panthers Gold three to zero, and then Apocalypse beat Hailstorm. I believe it was three to one. So now we're looking at what is actually an upset on the first map. Uh, Panthers Gold uh, taking that first map. Uh, isn't what you would expect to see here, but so far that's where we're at. Well, you know, as they say, the underdog always win the first map, right? But it doesn't it doesn't actually mean that they're gonna win the whole thing. Maybe it's gonna be three one for um for one for one tree here, <laughs> Apocalypse. You know what? We never you never know what can happen, especially King's Row, Scrim's Row, the favorite map of everyone. So maybe that's some change you're gonna make, like this whole this map a little different, and maybe this gonna go the way of for one tree apocalypse there. And uh, just a quick note before we start this match, you may have seen in chat, we are doing another giveaway of $20 of Battle.net balance. Uh, 200 followers this time. Follow now and, and be there when we hit 200 followers in the chat. And after that game, we will do our giveaway. Imagine winning $20 for watching video games. Like, it's it's Gavin, guys. Come on. Very true. It's a really good deal. Very good deal. Oh, and now the maps is starting. Oh, I see a Bastion there. Is it gonna really? Is is this really gonna happen? The Bastion? Are they really gonna Panthers go with the Bastion? Gold. I think we saw them run this before. Yeah, on the Bastion. What's gonna happen there? They're gonna teleport up to they the top on the statue. statue now. Oh, Shade firing yeah. down the enemy team. The Sigma's falling down. Baritone so the goes down. Is... Oh, Early on. pick. Yeah, this is... sniper Bastion works as Eden tries to find him, but now he's coming back down. He's teleporting back now. So so. Oh, so they can actually capitalize on this right now. We got to pick a G-Star, so both these are gone right now, but the, the, the Lucio for 4-1 for Apocalypse is going to come back way faster, though. It's going to be there? really hard for Apocalypse to take this space back. That Bastion has that corner locked down tight. Yeah, and the Symmetra is, is like full charge, love of that, breaking shields. The Aiden is flanking the Junkrat, but he gets the Unish for it. Oh, he gets the Ana with a passive spell, with a passive, like, I don't know, the passive bomb there. It's crazy, okay. But the red team is still gonna be able to catch the point and go forward on the second part of the map on the street phase there. They're taking a lot of space, they're denying like space on the blue team. Oh, Maker getting stunned, but nothing's gonna happen there. I think they're just gonna go back. Uh, yeah, they're gonna go back with their team. They're just gonna hold the corner there. And oh, Mima Gator is switching back on Sombra there. Interesting pick, especially on King's Row. We're seeing a lot of excitement for these teams in the chat. Let us know who you're rooting for in the chat. Now as both teams meet here on this corner of King's Row, the Rhines are swinging, and we have a Zarya to a Sigma. That's a, a, a notable difference in comp. It's going to make it a little hard for Panthers to hold this point in that space. But now the tire That's comes through for Eden. That's a tire from Eden right there. That, this guy has been holding us a very good tire there, honestly. Very good. Very true. player. They're playing pretty fast. I, I love that from Blue Team right now. They, they know that the Sigma is a very good source of spam and the Sombra as well. If you get if you just let the Sombra do her shit, well, she, she, she's gonna have BMP very fast and the Sigma's gonna charge blocks very fast. Playing fast is the only way they can win there. And that's what they did. I really like that. So now they've got Blue Team here as control of the guard. And Blue Team is recontesting there. What are they gonna do? Play fast? That's what they need to see from the game there. That's a very good, nice Nino on the Rhinos there. Oh, and they pick up Bean and 003. And the Ainu gets invested here by the team, by the big team, but it's not gonna be enough. The red team still have a very big advantage there, so... And the big on the Maker in the Oh, Junkrat is just gonna seal it up. They just won this fight, and they're probably gonna be able to maybe 
blue, blue team is probably gonna be able to recontest the, the third, the second point there if they can, but it's not, I don't know if it's really gonna happen. And the ult advantage is in the favor right now, Camper is gold. Uh, could swap a little bit though, we see uh, the Lucio's both on their way to a beat as a flux comes through from Shiny. Who can it pick up? He finds that's three, four make it, both supports and both tanks, that's big. Big Eddie follows up a mad wolf, finds Billionaire oh, going down. Rad. The Junkrat didn't touch in time, that could have been big, because Mad Wolf was the pick on the Reinhardt there, but it didn't touch because of the Flux. That's a very good holding Flux there, it was dangerous, but he got it. So now they have the, they have the point, Sombra's gonna come up an EMP, they're gonna come up with Blossom, they're gonna have, they have the Shatter here. But the blue team still uh, is only pretty good spot to win this, I think the Brawl is really good in third point, especially. Grab hits that card, B comes through though. Oh, that, the shield is being broken here. I think that the blue team is playing way too slow there. They need to play way faster than that, or they're gonna all get out spammed. The summer's gonna have EMP very soon, and they're gonna, they're just gonna, the EMP's gonna steal the day. Oh, big shatter from the blue team there. Reaper's getting killed. Oh, and it's just Pina at this point. That's a very good shatter there. I think Pina just carried this fight. If he didn't get the big shatter there, the summer would have EMP, the Blossom would have come out, and it would have been over for them. The shatter was really a big shatter. That's the game changing shatter right there. Yeah, stepping in on the Reinhardt off uh, Keener again, swapping himself out here. Uh, that, that's a really big shatter there. It's a really big moment. For yeah, the now Villanair comes back with a shatter, and there's probably going to be an EMP with this. going to be a really hard play for Venno. Not too much you can really do about this. Maybe though you're losing a few times. Big tire again! Wow, oh, this guy's incredible, man. man. Hey, man every fire. time, every he, time he gets okay. I mean, he just can't be stopped. He can't. No, that's impossible. Eden is carrying like uh, defense wise. This guy's getting some very big. He's getting a lot of sirens. He's getting a lot of value out of them. So it's it's, it's a very good pick right there. I see. If you if you let Junkrat Eden on the Junkrat, it's gonna work out for you. And I can't say I'm surprised. The first match I ever casted, uh, back when when four and three was Oasis. Uh, Starred Eden, who I believe won the MVP of that game, he's an absolute star who we see pop off over and over again. Whether he's on DPS or off tank, but now Panther's gold. Oh, with an that's early a pick. big act of Reinhardt. He couldn't do anything right there. He got act, he got rocked, he got everything in the game, and now that's a very big pick for Red Team without enlisting any ults on top of that. They're gonna come out in like five ults there, so Snowball is possible for them, especially if they lose their Lucio that had a very important ult to beat there. I mean, they still want to vote for Blue Team. They're gonna have like six ults, so if they just play it slow, get their ults in time, like they can win this very easily. This is a big switch up. Panthers Gold has all their ultimates right now. There are a lot he online for Apocalypse as well. The Nano goes on to Venno, who finds a big Big EMP. Shades is going to follow up a lot of ultimates. Oh, this, oh, my, oh, oh my. No way this guy is going to lie. The DPS are doing a lot of job for Blue Team right now. They're just, even though they're like in a bad situation, they just pull off a big tire, pull off a big Ainu, and they just, they just win fight like that. That's, that's incredible. Eden really stepping up for his team here. And yeah, uh, Mad Wolf as off. well. Uh, Eden now has the tire. Mad Wolf finding a lot of fixes. DPS for Apocalypse has been stunning all throughout. Yeah, we're, Eden we're now talking has a lot about Eden, but Mad Wolf is not to be underestimated either. He's very, very strong on the Makery right there. For sure. Now the tire could come through from Eden. They just want to give up this space. And it's going to pressure, waste their time a little bit. If uh, Panthers don't want to push through, they don't have to. As far as Apocalypse is concerned, you have yeah. a lot of ultimates online. Uh, they were able to really trade out ultimates pretty well there last fight Apocalypse. I agree. Trails for trails is very good. But the blue team has the better holes right there. They have to, they have to grab the desire. If they can pull up it, they can pull up the grab there. There's very big. The the comes out, the tire oh. does two twin finds too in the grab there. Ah, that was a big, a big part of it was the tire. So sorry I'm gonna kill credit there, but I think the tire was a big part of it. Just trying to beat help, help pull, that was that was pretty big from the tire there. Very I think true. that could have been a double kill for the tire if it was a little bit later. Very true, Eden yet again making an outstanding play. Twid though, worth noting, did finish off those kills and clears off. Uh, the rest of the enemy team here. Yeah, the ult rotation is pretty good. All the rotation from their DPS is actually uh, pretty funny. Eden gets tire when he doesn't Mad Wolf has Ainu. When Mad, Mad Wolf doesn't have Ainu, Eden has tire. So what can you do? You, you need to pay your attention to both DPS every fight. That's crazy. Yeah, at one point you're gonna have to counter one of these. Venos Shatter does get blocked, but he gets Nano on the follow up. He's hacked now, but Mad Wolf and has Mad Ainu. Wolf put a pick again. I'm Finds the those Sombra. DPS are, yeah, those DPS are, yeah, are the key right now. They're getting a lot of pick there. That's the, okay, so Blue Team is just winning the fight at this point, but well, wrong you, they only have Shatter for next fight, they only have the Grab for next fight, then maybe Shatter if they're lucky, but the Red Team is coming on EMP on Shatter on, on maybe Grab and Coalescence uh, uh, anytime soon. So I think Red Team has a little advantage there, but it's very, very winnable for Blue Team as well if they play correctly. Worth they need noting, to play very fast though. Worth noting Red, Panther's Gold do have uh, that Shatter online. Could be big this fight if Venno isn't watching out for it, is he? 
fire yeah. strikes through, and now he has that shield up. I think he knows uh, if he has his blitz of battle, his grab comes through. Oh. Now, Dylan Air could have a free shatter here, but he doesn't take it. That's oh, that's a very good that's a very good play from the grab that, that's for Zyre there. I think that Billionaire would have had a very good shatter opportunity there because Vevin went on the other side around the card to try to make damage on the grab, but he didn't shatter there. I think he just wasted his opportunity. But it doesn't matter because they're coming up on on five volts, potentially the beat, maybe even six volts if they get it like in time. And on paper they should win this fight. If they just use their EMP properly and they keep their ult for last fight, at this point at this point three should be oh should already be done. Big shatter from the Eden oh, following up oh. off the shatter. That's very big right there. Eden on the another oh my god, Eden, Eden with the tree gate there. But you know, I'll, I'll I'll give some credit to the Reinhardt there. That was a very big three three man shadow right there. I, I seriously I think we speak about the DPS a lot, but this Reinhardt for the blue team right there is making a lot of damage. Very true, very true. Score. No shatter or anything. Yeah, big plays, big shatter, big damage for sure. Uh, That's yeah. We were, yeah, we were speaking about like um about Panthers um old economy right there. But even though they had the better old economy, they didn't win this fight. I think that blue team is really like stepping up the fight. They're, they're, they're really thinking themselves, yeah, we gotta win, okay? And they're just playing their best game right now. Their DPS are just playing like crazy. I seriously, if they keep up like that, they might even like they're probably gonna win this map. So I honestly, the red team needs to make some adjustment because they're probably. If they don't do, it might end up 1-1 after this game. Very true. Uh, good plays there from Apocalypse. Able to hold on to that point on King's Row. That's something you like to be able to do now. We're going to see Panther's Gold here. Uh, trying to recreate that magic they created on the first map. To be, fair. Can... to be fair, to be King's Row point 3 is very hard to capture. So, uh, you know, when you get Snowball on King's Row, third point is usually where it's like... If you hold it, you hold it forever. If you don't, you just get snowballed forever, right? So, the King's Row third point is kind of that gimmicky, like, either you get snowballed all the way, either you block them on, on point three, right? Very true. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, what? Okay, comp-wise. Oh, so, I see the red team is going for a very big, big brawl. Moira, Lucer, Reaper, Kree there. And blue team is going for a little Junkrat again. He didn't sing on the Junkrat there. Maybe it's not the most brawly character ever, but he's putting work with the Junkrat there. So, if they can play slow enough and give time for Eden to, to, to have a lot of value, well, it's very worth it. The Reinhardt's taking early old charge with it. Oh, it's like a quick brawl form. He's a... Dillinger gets left, but Venno actually goes down, but the hands of Shiny on his already there. Finds Shiny with the double out. kill right there. That's great. Oh, okay. Blue team is going fast. I think Blue team will play the way too fast there, like, honestly. They, they, they literally tried to out brawl a, a Reaper, make free brawl with a junk, with a junk rat brawl. So I think that at this point, they just didn't know their win condition, and the red team just out brawl them and they destroyed their end pretty fast. So at this point, he didn't sell, he sells 71% of his tire, right? So if he gets a good you took a tire as you usually do with and it's it might already be over. Oh, now, blue team is going to oh, hell. Yeah, Apocalypse, a big fire strike coming through, worth noting. It's going to put Venno a little bit ahead on the Shatter now with the Coalescence coming through from Bodog. Now a tire for me. Could it be big as the rest of the tires oh. have been? There it is. No, it nice. comes through and two more come through for Apocalypse. They're going to take this point. I'm a little confused about the old teleportation there because if the red team just saw it, they would have all drawn them very hard in old tail. The jump isn't really good, like, I guess, brawl. These are very, like, slow paced directors, so I'm, I'm really a little curious about this rotation right there, but it worked out. So, uh, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Blue team is pushing pretty far right there, but, oh, the red team is, is not giving up the ground so far. They're, they're just gonna come back up, and yeah. At this point, they, they have the high noon, so, oh, they might actually try to grab this right now. Oh, blue grab is coming up first. The high noon is. And the Ainu from Ami Gadaro oh, is getting too big as well, so it's a 4v4 right now. Oh, but Zarya's way too far overextended right there. So the rest has the advantage there. There's a Reaper on the left side on my try to go for a flank. Oh, Reaper going on the flank. Oh, Reaper's no fade right now. It's a very, very, very good fight for the rest right there. They should win this on paper. And the blue team is backing up to not give any more O charge to the red team. So red team's in control, but blue team is already coming back. So they didn't win a lot of time there. But the red team saw those with the, the big grab right there, so it's not going to hold. Wallace getting invested by Blue Team and Eden getting once again a big pick for his team. Oh, the big shatter from Veneno though. Oh my god. And Eden and Matt will just following up on it. I'm telling you, this run is mad as well. This run is crazy. And okay, maybe that their DPS are all over the kill feed, but all of this was made possible because of the Reinhardt from the Blue Team right there. For sure. Big shatter from Drew from Veneno and now the ultimates are going to be on favor. 
The Panthers gold if they can touch this point. We're gonna see Apocalypse it's actually taking a lot of space here. Yeah, they, they need to try to stall this board. out and take this point. They it. Or they're just gonna come back with more ult. If, oh, that's a, that's oh, they're gonna be really, oh, they, they oh they touch the time. Oh, that's a big bit from Armageddon right there. Oh, Tyre coming up from Eden could be very and big. Oh, two big big again. again. Oh, but oh, Shad is coming up the blossom. I'm getting getting a big of Reinhardt, but Eden just with the tree gate sealing up the deal for his team right there. Eden with a four K just fight down. Oh, five K almost. Oh, 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 if Twig didn't kill the Makri there, oh my. Oh, Eden, we're going to six K at this fight for sure. Very good Eden play coming up yet again, again, giving his team the point. Always finding these two man shatters over yeah. uh, tires over Tire, and over. Yeah, they have four minutes and forty seconds to cap point three there, and they have like I, uh, they have grab, they have shatter, they have they have a lot of bolts there. I think that's a very that's very winnable this fight. That's very winnable for them. Very winnable fight for one for, for, for one one three uplifts there. Uh, Oh, it's I know coming out. Big, oh, big, big shatter from Benno though, yes. but from both so does Billionaire. Both shatters, yeah. The Shatter canceled the Ainu, I think, but Billionaire just study opportunity to Shatter himself, and the team just followed up. I had a very good follow up on um, the damage on 10 and 0 there. And the, the Red Team is going to be able to reclaim the position of the pedal there and re reclaim position of point C. But Team Ho, Blue Team is coming up with four holds there. And the Red Team only a Qualisense and potentially a Sigma hold there. But Blue Team, if they play fast enough with Qualisense, they're going to win this for sure. On paper, they should. Bodog and Fuzzy Puddle both committing the Coalescence. Again! He does it again! Wow! He does it! And Mad Wolf on top of that. Oh, Eden with the tree game. Mad Wolf just. Oh, yeah, Eden and Mad Wolf. Again, they're just killing everyone on point. That's crazy. I, I'm telling you, the DPS are cracked. Plus tire equals two kills over and over yeah, again. It's, it's as consistent as math itself. That's crazy. I think I only saw one tire that, did, that didn't do 2k there. I think I only saw For one sure. tire, but it was every time I saw Eden pull, pull off a tire, it was a true man tire. And killing 2% in Overwatch, it's, it's a game winning, I'm telling you. Oh, sure. that Ainun was pretty uh -huh. good. With the Flux to lift him up and give him some like point of view, that was, that was pretty good Ainun right there. Very good map, very good map, honestly. Very, very good, good play map, from yeah. both team right there. I think that, I'm telling you, like, the control map doesn't mean anything in this game, honestly. King's Rob <laughs> was very dominant from 4 one trip Apocalypse right there, so uh, I, I, who knows what's going to happen on the next map, right? Yeah, we're looking forward to what is a very exciting match. We are now at 1-1. Stay tuned, everybody. We're going to go to a quick three-minute intermission. We'll be right back. People can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the f does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion.
face to face I found my pain Beneath the lies and broken dreams Lost the love I had in me It tore me apart, fade away I felt so lost but I held on to what I had For what it's worth if you feel in love Just know that you can, yes you can There's life in love that you hold This one for the person who feels alone This one for the hero who has no home This one for the one who live for hope Change and better days Pick your head up, keep on fighting Living, loving, mm -hmm. Make your mind up If you want it, take it, fly All right, we are back now going on to Hanamura. Uh, we are 1-1 right now after Li Zhang and King's Row. Now on to Hanamura. And no subs right now. Actually, we do see Keener again coming in. Ooh, I like that. So 2CP, you know, everyone's favorite map, right? Everyone's favorite game mode, 2CP. Of course. You're like, <laughs> everyone likes 2CP, of right? Of course. So 2CP is really, I don't know, it can go, I know I'm saying that every map, but it can go either way. You know, 2CP plays very differently from Control and, um, and Hybrid. So I'm really wondering what's going to... I think Anamura is also a very good map for some cheesy comp. You know, some CP, uh, you know, you can do a lot of... I can I think you can really do a lot of Anamura. But um, yeah, I'm wondering what's going to happen. Cheesy comp, or are they just going to stay with what they're comfortable with, right? Yeah, not quite sure right now. So far, Eden coming out on the Junkrat. He's been big on that Junkrat. We do see I Am and Guitar coming out on the Symmetra. I uh, just want to take note of I Am and Guitar also in the other game we cast. We saw him popping up in the kill feed a lot. And that's oh, something yeah. that, that we've so far has pretty much continued now on the Symmetra, giving a, a tactical utility advantage to its team. But watch out once they get to that point because that beam's going to charge fast. And I Am and Guitar certainly has the tracking take some people down what i'm wondering is that the, the single rollout comp is not really a big uh it's, i think they're not going to be able to hold it i i don't know it's not a big roll comp so going on the point with this um, spam comp is not going to be very effective honestly i think that blue team has uh, i think that uh, i think that apocalypse has a pretty good advantage oh but the taping on eye ground and the symmetra is already dead and you guys she got punished by the soldier 76 right there that's okay that's that's not a good start for uh, for Panther right there yeah, an early pick, they go down. The teleporter went to the top left that time, trying to take that high ground space. Another thing to note, we have seen uh, Bodog on the Moira. When we saw that Moira v. Moira last map, I will say Bodog's Coalescence is seeming to come out uh, with slightly better and more efficient timing. So we can see that again here uh, for a big advantage for gold as now Panthers take this top left with the teleporter. That's big. I'm guitar is putting his turrets down on the point now. This billionaire attempts to go in. He is holding this top window with his Sigma hook. Uh, doesn't actually pretty... commit too hard yet. Though. That's a pretty interesting strike. Shiny in the oh. back! Shiny flanking the honor, but Egan with a 2k once again. Carol, oh, that's a very big, that's very big fix. And Venona was just pinning the, the Sigma from the enemy team right there. And chasing the Og. The Og is on high ground. The Og isn't dead yet. It's not a 6k. The Og is still alive, but are they gonna kill him? Oh, that's a big look there, but nobody dies. The Mercy is trying to, to, to pistol the Og, and yeah, the Mercy gets the kill on the road up there. That's a big alpha move. And despite an early pick from Shiny, we are gonna see Fuzzy Puddles at the end. Get some healer revenge. Find that pick. 
for Dacus. Now I'm in the on the far end here. This could be big. It's obviously be really huge on Lijon now uh, with the Sigma Roadhog comp. It's Panthers Gold coming into each other. It's gonna be Keener's job to keep this Pyra at bay. That's there's a tire right there already from Eden. Getting the first pick of the Mercy. That's huge. No, no, absolutely no resurrection for the for the for Panther right there. And the Pharaoh doesn't have any like kind of reliable healing. So the Moira is a ground uh, healer, right? So Pharaoh's gonna have a very hard time right there, especially with all the Mercy. Yeah, Aiming Guitar tries to take a take a peek there, but can't quite get it with the Mercy down now. Oh. They get a hook though on the Veno. He's gonna find himself a little bit out now. Big hook from Shiny. Can they find this Reinhardt dead? Can we be able to back up no. thanks to his healers getting him out here and probably be came through as well. And now we're gonna see a visor That's nano coming from the back. That's Keener again, who we saw on tank earlier now on the soldier. That's uh, a pretty but... questionable nano. Panther's gold uh, just kind of back up wisely and now we're going to come in here to this point with ult advantage. This could yeah. Be big for them. Yeah, I think, like, I honestly, uh, Apocalypse just wasted two ults there. Like, I, I just, Panther didn't even engage. That Nana just not know there's, it, like, the soldier, it, the soldier was at the bottom of the map. He just used Visor like that for no reason. And then, like, this, I don't know, Panther just disengaged. And now the Flux is going to come through, grabs the Reinhardt, who is bubbled, but the bubble goes away. Roadhog also committing the ultimate now as the grab comes through for Apocalypse Shades. Finds two to Eden's one, and a third is coming through right now. This visor getting a lot of value as I am and guitar continues to clean up for Panthers gold. We're gonna take this point now after a few stall picks coming through. Very Panthers good, now. very good. Yeah, I think it's a very good visor from Shadis right there. I think Eden at his, at his tire, it could have been a very big tire, like a, four, a fight turning tire right there. It's unlucky he didn't like that time to use it. Um, there, I think oh, it's a pretty good situation to be in right now if, if you're a Panther. Honestly, you have Barrage, you have Valkyrie. And if you can somehow break Eden's tire, you're in a very good position to win next fight. Honestly, if the if the barrage is big, it's a very you're in a very good position to win point B right there with a pretty decent time back of that. Far coming in the right actually knocks Keener again down. You know, to come back up and there's a duel commencing now, both having a Mercy boost with them. The DPS and Mercy's duel it out. Keener's twitching on the end though against Shiny. the Pharaoh. Shiny, yet another big pick from Shiny. He finds the Eden this time, and that's a really big pick for Panther Gold. I think Far comes down. With it. The barrage as Villainer finds a pick. That's gonna get res. Keener against one pick now. That's a big advantage for Panthers Gold. They're early and quick onto this point. Now the tire finally coming from Eden. Can it find two? It finds one. That's Villainer down. That could be enough with the nano one Veno right now. Slep is shiny. Rodog having to back off the point. Bodog has to avoid that pin. Veno finding himself in a risky position, but they can most likely stall this. The Rodog ultimate is coming through, and they actually get a tick. And that is huge for Panthers Gold. That is huge. Although, if they win this fight, I mean... <laughs> oh! Apocalypse is all their ult. It doesn't really big name on the Mercy there. No Mercy for the Pharaoh. That's the... Oh, Shadows, though, on the, with a visor on, at the bottom of the map, just killing everyone. Two things for Shadows. That's the very... Oh, Shadows popping the Another. hug up right there. Nice. Very, very good visor right there. Is Venom... The only ult for the Blue team right there is, is the Venom Shatter. But, oh, he gets stunned. Ooh. Oh, that's and he, oh, he wastes the Shatter. And the Mercy doesn't touch, that's unlucky. Venom very good stunned out of the Shatter by Villainer on the Sigma. That's a big play, and we saw Shades very there absolutely one. popping off. You know, I've been talking about I Am In Guitar. Uh, haven't mentioned Shades. He absolutely dominated that game right there. Yeah, that Shades on the Soldier. Very, very big play. I, mean, I think he's the only one, he's the one that unlocked the situation on point A and on point B. I think the fight was going the favor of Apocalypse right there, and... I don't know. I think that if the if Veneno didn't pin there and get get, get killed with Road Dog, he, that this fight could have be could have probably went the other way. But a Veneno charge that was a very big pick from um from Shiny and the Reinhardt. And at this point, the soldier was just free to kill everyone with his visor, right? No shield in his way, and that closed up the fight just like that. Ready for battle. And that's a really clutch play for Shades there. Just when his team needs him most, coming through and finding <laughs> almost all the picks in that fight with that visor. Absolutely. Uh, now, curious to see what compositions both teams run here, because that Hog Sigma is, is you know, a slightly unique composition, maybe. Well, you know, Shades and Eden are very, are, I think it's going to be a fight with DPS right there. Eden is it, going to be on the May right there. That's a pretty, I don't know, May's not that good anymore. It's a questionable pick, honestly. I, I think they're going to go for a very, uh, uh, I, are they, they have a Symmetra and a May. What are they going to do there? Are they going to wait for a good wall, or are they going to teleport on point? I'm wondering what what uh, Apocalypse is going to do there, honestly. With a Batistana as well, that's a very weird healer composition right there. Yeah, this is a certainly unique comp coming out from Apocalypse as we see the double shield on Hanamura is something we've been seeing a lot, sort of in the 
a reforming meta <laughs> it might seem here uh sigma ryan right now is as they try to seem to set up for the teleport and now is on the point point. And that's pretty big for them because they can fight for this point right now. It, but, it turns the, the attacking pressure onto Panther Gold. You find a pick after the uh, ammo goes down. Dak is using his ammo to way too early there. I don't know why he used it, but that's, that's a very big cooldown out of the way for the for, for, um, for Panther there. But I'm gonna get her dying to quit. I don't know who's gonna win this round. The billionaire is in the corner. He's getting killed. The Sigma is no grass. The burst is very low. Soldier dies to Keener again. And he, oh, Keener popping off with the Symmetra there. Oh my god, Keener would like the 4k? Oh, Keener killing literally everyone on point. Keener just popped the hell off. I think DPS is gamer, putting a lot of job for both teams, honestly. Six minutes in the time bank here for um for Apocalypse. They, they could possibly, if they play well, they have like, they have the snowball potential there. They have way more old charge and they have the Symmetra TP. So they could get on point and just get all of their ults and just win this. Very, very good gameplay out right now from uh, Apocalypse. Apocalypse is going down below now. They're teleporting on the point, it would seem. Now with Keener again. Setting up that TP, but it hasn't come yet. Where are they going? The teleporter doesn't Where's the teleporter? Through. Maybe it was a bait? I, I don't quite understand. Oh, oh there it is. There it is. Finally, now. Oh, the the all of the way. That's very big pick right there. Shiny, though. Okay, killing Keener, but Eden is going to Mercy. Oh, this fight is could go. Oh, this fight. Oh, what's gonna happen there? Tomorrow's no fate. Oh, the May. Oh, the male there. Oh, it's going. Oh, Blue Team is doing the snowball right there. They're doing it. They're achieving it. Oh, very big wall here to make some Symmetra to put their team from the spawn, I think. Yeah. And oh, there are they. Oh, Pharaoh's coming back. Nano coming out on the soldier, I think. Oh, the Nano there. Oh, it's the Zarya from, okay, it's the Zarya from Pokalypse. Pharaoh's in the sky. Moira no pen on the point of the ball. If you kill Moira's dead, oh, it's only ball on point right now, and she's getting frozen by the main, by the, by the evil itself. The May almost broke the similar with her wall right there, but someone's gonna die and it's not gonna be enough. And oh, Apocalypse with two more men, uh, almost three more minutes on the time bank. They're very good, very good sim strat from them right there. Yeah, and those are big picks uh, right there at the end uh, coming through. That That's a big time bank for them. Uh, Panther's gold now. Uh, with the low time bank, I want to try to get an early capture. They want to look for a win, uh, an early win condition in their DPS comp, possibly. Uh, but there yep. certainly is a path to victory for Panthers Gold here. Yeah, for sure. We we questioned their comp with the Batis right there. We were like, is it really Batis on? Is it really? Uh, it's questionable. But they, they really pulled it off. That does a really good job from from Apocalypse right there on the sleeve. Very good. Very good attack. Um, yeah, you know, maybe, very very good. Maybe they know something we don't. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, I don't know what happened there. I was like, this comp is weird. That's cough. Maybe yeah. I don't think it's gonna work very well, especially that the, the, the on point B, the, like the I don't know what happened with the teleporter, but it took a lot of time, and the Pharaoh was just free spamming. I was like, wait, Pharaoh's gonna get barrage, but no, they just killed the Pharaoh instantly. They killed the Pharaoh first every fight, I think, and that was the key. That was the key, the key condition there. The Pharaoh was in there to spam. They were just free to kill everyone with their brawl, right? And now. It would seem that Panther's Gold going on to the Symmetra again. Uh, early on, we saw them swap off of it last time, but they are coming back to it now here. Most likely because they want to get an early win. That's going to be Benno taking his early fire strike. Doesn't actually get any. It's it a little bit too early now. Uh, that could give them another chance to get ahead on the shatter. He's going to have to do that here. But only two minutes to cap. Teleporter does come through. Gets them into the white room, and Benno takes a second to notice and sees them now. And a big anti actually comes through there for Fuzzy Puddles, but Panther's Gold recovers well, goes high ground, and now that nade is on the cooldown. That's very big for Panther's Gold. Right now. That's a very good rotation here, actually, from um, that's a very good retention for Panther Gold right there. Honestly, taking the high ground with a sim TP does really good. They're taking a lot of player. Oh, they, they forced they actually forced the Buckles back on point. There is, uh, oh, the teleport is coming. Oh, the teleport on the other icon. Oh my god, that's the big rotation right there. They lost like a minute doing it, but uh, it, it might be worth it. Oh, big NC though. Oh, nice, nice NC. And uh, Eden following up on the end NC right there. Very good play from, uh, from Apocalypse from the uh, Fuzzy Bottle right there with a very big nade and a lot of DPS and the rest of the team to push up and just kill the entire, the, oh, I mean, yeah, to kill basically everyone and um, Venter's gold team right there. Keener again runs himself, or sorry, I am in guitar, runs him, runns himself off the map there. Good choice as J-Star goes down to Eden's Wrath. Now with 50 seconds to cap, they can still do this. They are swapping off the ball now. Which means ultimates are going to go in the favor of Apocalypse. Yeah, if you get Tiger there, it's basically a map loss. If you get Tiger, like, you're in a very bad position because you need to, to, to use the resources to actually get to the point. Oh, very big pick coming up from Eden again, and Shade is not of that. It's, uh, and Shade is not of that. Uh, if your carry's not there to kill everyone, well, you're in trouble. Oh, but Mercy 
is raising Chase, but Eden gets a big enough Pharaoh. Junkrat killing the Pharaoh, man. This guy's that crazy. And he's going with Tyre in the spawn. Is it is this Tyre gonna get some any kind of value right there? Oh, that's what oh, oh, Shade oh. dies again with Tyre in the spawn. Very good from Eden waiting for the Tyre in the corner and just killing Chattis. That's a pretty big pick because they don't have a resurrection right now. Think about that. The ball is gonna dodge. Oh, Shatter coming up from Ganano, but it's not stun the ball at all. Ball's gonna dodge. Ball is getting used there. But I'm gonna get her getting the pick of Venino and then Keener. Oh, Keener is actually farming everyone right now. Two kills. And I think at this point, Quadessence in fire on point. Three men burrow up. Oh, okay. I think that Quadessence is just gonna seal up the deal right there. Proper bullets. Very much so now. Picks coming through this. Seal out this point. It's gonna be a long hold for Panthers Gold. They're gonna have to find something to stall this out. Yeah, very good. Eden getting the pick on the, uh, on the Pharaoh was kind of incredible. I don't know. Pharaoh's a Junkrat hunter, but Junkrat, nah, this guy doesn't have any fear. He just goes in the sky and kills the Pharaoh, you know? He, you know, very, very impressive there right now. Healing the soldier and then forcing the res and then killing the soldier again so your soldier can pop up. That's that's a pretty fun Overwatch to watch right there. Very much so now. Four minutes and 50 on the side of Apocalypse. Panthers oh yeah. Gold. Curious to see what comp they decide. They think can stall this point out. Obviously, it's not an easy task, but it is a doable one. And no matter what they play, I, I'm pretty sure their DPS are gonna pop off. Honestly, but no matter what, I think the, the four DPS in this game are pretty incredible. But you know, if you want to be a good as good as them, you need money, right? And to get money, you need to enter a giveaway, guys. It's a it's a <laughs> it's a free twenty dollar. When we reach 200 followers, and if you're here when we hit the 200 followers, there's a $20 giveaway in the Battle Net shop. So if you just, you know, want to buy a Smurf account, I don't recommend it. You know, it's not fun. But if you want to buy a Smurf account and just, you know, <laughs> buy any Activision game or any Battle Net game, you just, it's a free $20 for watching video games, right? So enter the giveaway, it's free, you know, you can get $20 for watching games. You know, it's given, guys. Come on, you can do it. It's a good deal, for sure. A very good deal. Really can't beat that anywhere else. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I and see a Bastion there. Yeah, a, a big stall comp coming out. You know, we expected to see something unique probably with the time. And, and we do see that double shield obviously coming through. Now the Orisa Sigma with the Bastion. I'm a guitar actually running the Fara, which doesn't usually line up with that spam comp, but I like what they're doing here now. Or even can't give up a tick, obviously. They do have to come in and touch him. They're going to find I'm a guitar. Finds Keener again now. Billionaire's going to have to hold this point. They can't give up any more space. Venom's getting low, but so is Billionaire. Now Shades and Shiny find picks. Twit finds one, but might not be enough here. This could still go either way. I am in guitar, however, just cleans up this point with three picks. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But, you know, ah, that that could have been winnable, but the res and the resource big. If the resource died there, it could have been big, a big contest for um for Apocalypse there. But, uh, you know, they really need to play either. They play very fast and they just kill the Bastion with a big roll. They need to take a big rotation. They, they can't just walk main and let the Bastion the Pharaoh spam them. It's a very, very big spam comp. Double shield, Bastion, Pharaoh. I don't really know any comp that spams more than that. Now the Orisa just spamming away as they do. Now Apocalypse trying to get set up and find a plan. Find a way to attack this Bastion. Oh, this time they're teleporting on the left side of the map. Oh, I mean, depending where you are. Oh, and Heathen, with the big Big of the Mercy, no resurrection for... No resurrection for Panther right there, that's very big. No Mercy for, to boost the Bastion, that's less damage and less healing. And Heathen in the backline killing the Bastion without that. The Sigma's sleeping, and where is no fate? Well, oh, where we send the dying and Keen, Keener and the Symmetra just you cleaning, up, cleaning up again. Then that's a very... That, that was a lot of time to actually try to defend right there. That was that was a very hard stall from um, from Panther, but the yeah, Apocalypse just dominating this map in my opinion. Really, very good play. play of the game. Yeah, good map. Two CP can obviously uh, often end in a draw, and we saw both teams capping. But Apocalypse managed to get a time bank, which gave them a pretty big advantage going into this. That was going to be a very hard stall for Panther's gold, and Apocalypse yeah. now takes them out. Honestly, this was, I think it was a very good map for both teams. And see, I, I think Shades and really, uh, I'm a get are really popping off this game, but I really think that the, the teamwork coming out from uh, Apocalypse right there is, is what really brings them to like this upper level, right? It really allows them to win this game right now. And now we see, uh, before we go to a quick three minute intermission, Apocalypse is up to one now. Uh, as we mentioned, follow for the giveaway at 200 followers. We're going to be right back after a three-minute intermission with this very, very exciting match. Stay tuned. And this very exciting giveaway. For sure. <laughs>
Inside lane, missing exits, glued to the pavement. Between the lines, I keep my gaze straight ahead as the last stop flies by. No more waiting for the gun to fire. No more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around once. We are back with what is so far been a very exciting match between two teams. We are going on to. Again, I, I always forget. It's Who Rialto. Was... Rialto, yeah, yeah. How can I? How can I possibly? Oh, I mean, it's uh, you can you can maybe forget Rialto, but you can't forget this match against Apocalypse, Round Three Apocalypse against <laughs> Panthers. And tell me, uh, I see Apocalypse playing, and they're very good. But what is for Round Three Apocalypse in the first place? So yeah, four on three. Uh, we're an organization that just trying to you know make this the process of of wanting to join or create a competitive team easier, uh, taking out uh, some of the legwork that you know sometimes players find themselves having to do, uh, which is very unfortunate. So we hope to make that process a little quicker. Uh, we have recruitment, uh, just a, a great community as well. Um, we we build players up through our academy and our rivals teams. Uh, we also accommodate full teams, so if you're already on a team, if you already have a team, uh, come join us as well and uh, see if you like it. Come around, uh, stop by 413esports.com. We have a YouTube channel. You're already here on Twitch, and if you look down below, you'll find a link to the Discord as well uh, as on the website. So uh, it looks like a pretty, pretty, very, pretty nice opportunity right here for people that really want to like get into pro into like competitive play. Really, that's just very nice. Um, yeah, for sure. Super fun community. Speaking about nice, um, this match is very nice. So, oh, okay. I see that Panther is turning off with a road of Reinhardt Tracer a Reaper kind of a brawl right there. And um, I see. Oh, oh, that's a flank right there from. Oh, that's a flank. Oh, very big pick right there. Might as well just starting up the game with two picks in the, fire, in the first 15 seconds. Very good. Oh, okay. Oh, Veneno gets down though. I, I don't even know what's happening. Everything's happening so fast. Yeah, Panther's Gold went for a very uh, unique flank. I, I don't think I've seen that before. They had the roadblock on the point, and the rest of the team actually flanked around right. Bold strategy that at first didn't seem to work. Two picks from Madwell came through, but now with more picks, they're actually pushing this point now while Veno comes back. With this pawn advantage coming here from, um, with this pawn advantage here coming out from Panther, they just could, they just get the card going, and the Rhino is actually in a very bad position right now. Oh, what's going? Oh, Reaper's in the back here. Oh, Reaper flanking the Rhino right there. Oh, okay, oh, okay, Rhino is just broken right there from Apocalypse. Oh, that's a very good opportunity for building their push. Oh, very dangerous spin from Veneno right there. He gets spoke and he's gonna get killed because it's very dangerous. 
Um, Resley yeah, Arbor finds it. Both teams Reinhardt are down right now. Yeah. They're trying to make some space, but he has to be careful. The grab comes through now as Shades does find Twin down. Madwell finds a pick, though, in that grab. And they are going to be able to contest this point. Apocalypse holding on to dear life as uh, Panther Gold pushes right on in here. Venno, though, comes back to the point with the pin that finds the Tracer just in the nick of time. Venno's bowling DPS with those random pins. <laughs> Venno has some very accurate spin right there. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, Shiny getting a big on Baritone right there. I know going to... I, think, I, I honestly think Apocalypse has the advantage there. Resley just killing people. Resley with the double kill right there. And, oh, Shiny with the old hog. Is it going to be now? Resley's just killing everyone right now. Nobody can stop Resley right now. Resley's just on, the, on fire. Very good stall right there coming out from Apocalypse. That's that's two minutes. Okay, that's two minutes of the time back right there for, um, for Panther. And, you know, that great play from Resley just goes to show that with Eden popping off, it you know, it goes to show that this team is 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 doing good at enabling their DPS players because even when Eden goes out, they're able to find a lot of success in this DPS and and credit to the skill of Resley. Absolutely, I agree with you that those that his DPS power coming out from Apocalypse is crazy. Um, right there. Okay, that's where we come to right there. Um, for Panther, Panther coming back. Um, I don't know what's really their plan right there. Resley is now already as wiser, so we really need to really get a watch out. Oh, the Shadow King's blocked by the Zarya Fall Blasting, actually. And Resley, uh, the, uh, the complete end of the map, trying to get some value with a visor. Oh, that's a Shadow on the Rodog right there. And I'm coming up from Mad Wolf. But, oh, I'm a getter with a very, very big play blossom right there that kills Mad Wolf. Why do you have Ainu Ning? That's too big right there for, um... Sorry, that's a big professor right there. Are they, they are they going to be able to... Well, are they going to be able to win this? The Zarya's on point. She's the only one. And yeah, at this point, I think that... Yeah. Um, <laughs> but hell, it's just backing up at this point. It's just a, a point win for um, Panther right there. I am a guitar with a very, very big Death Blossom coming through to help his team get that point. Now, Panther's gold is absolutely rolling through. Three minutes to go, and they do have some ultimates to go. Beat's going to be big. Twit has his grab online. j is going to look to use his beat to cancel that one out. Oh yeah, and Rez is switching to the Reaper right now for some more brawl value right there. I think in this game right now that Apocalypse does a very big, big, big brawl he put comp. They should really just run in and yeah, deny the value from the Tracer coming out. So grab Coalescence coming in from Apocalypse now, but holding all the tight is Panther's gold. Shiny finds a pick there as Bodog finds another one. That's two down. Shiny's Apocalypse. very good at finding those random, like, those, those, you know, those flank, those flank and those, like, solo target pins. Like, I, I think it's very good, very accuracy, very good accuracy with the pin right there for uh, this uh, Shiny player. Shiny actually on the road, huh? Yeah, the road dog, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty surprising character to see in a brawl kind of comp, right? So I'm pretty surprised that it's working out for them. I think this actually has way more value. Speaking about Zarya, Twitch just died. That's a very bad thing if you want to recontest if you're right there. But the Reaper can the Tracer might allow them to recontest. The Shatter coming out from Billionaire, that's going to dodge the Mercury might have put once again with a big iron following his team to regain control of the point. But I'm going to get in the back line. I actually think the Reinhardt. Oh, it's this ball, Michael. That's the, that was potentially a big loss on the defense by Mad Wolf again with a big place. Well, Rensing is somehow turning this out. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, now, yeah. That, is, that was just a way too big advantage. A uh, red team could have potentially turned that out, but mm, two teams just coming back way stronger and just won this point. Thanks to Mad Wolf. And that was actually Venno's Shatter that I believe came out first, and then Billionaire's uh, did come up after. Uh, both Reinhardt's pushing into each other. We've seen good Reinhardt play all around. Um, and you're seeing that because these shatters aren't going through uh, impressive yeah. blocks and awareness from both Reinhardt. I think that both Reinhardt are like adapting, adapting to their enemy's plays right now. So they're, you know, when you start against a new opponent, you don't really know how they play. But when, once you learn how they play, you just block your shatter. That's how it goes. So right now, both Reinhardt are just being very well blocking shatter. And the rest are getting a big, big, and a big blossom all by himself in the back line, getting three with the help of Mandibles. But he gets muted by Leonard with a very good defense from his part. But it's not going to be enough to win this fight. Billionaire, um, Resley uh, just killed two people by himself, so that was a very good play right from him. That the fight was already won at this point. Even if he dies, his team still win the fight, so mm -hmm. you're completely fine. Um, Shiny trying to get a very uh, big hook there and trying to summon the. Oh, he's get boost oh. by Baratheon. What a good unit from the Lucio here from a plug ellipse. Yeah, Shiny getting a little bit too aggressive, and Baratheon finds him in the, in the drink. Absolutely, in the drink, in the water. What I like to see is when you boop someone and they just fall in one of those ships. That, that's pretty funny. And you're like, yeah, I gotta boop. Oh, no, never mind. There's a ship right there. There's a boat. So, yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, the billionaire is all by himself right now. He didn't. He didn't take the same rotation. This his team just went the uh, the other way. But I'm a get He doesn't care about that. He doesn't care about the station. He's killing very all by himself. Both players going for each team. The Reinhardt spinning. Oh, the low right. Red Reinhardt is very low right there. Oh, Resley getting for the Lucio. So both two down. But oh, oh, this fight is going. Yeah. Oh, this fight is going their way. Oh, the blast from Magnum get dark. Just closing up this fight. That's exactly what they needed. Very good play coming up from Armageddon right there. Yeah, that was that was huge. A shatter coming through from Venno. He immediately goes down, however. Newly kicked through for Panther Gold. They're going to push this point. Three seconds left. They should be able to take this. As Apocalypse going to have trouble getting a full six for the recontest. But he does come through. Both now both teams have beat Oh, okay. Venom's being oh, there, there's an Ainu from Medal right there. He's not getting punished. Oh, is, is he gonna get a big one again? He's gonna oh no, the, he just cancels the Ainu. He doesn't even shoot. Venom with a oh, but Madwell, even though he does an Ainu, he just kills the Moira by himself and the rest he can get the Tracer as the Reaper. Now it's uh, so 46 on point for Apocalypse. They're actually winning this pretty hard. The Lucio on point is probably gonna get finished very soon. On the oh wait! Red, oh Red Team is killing two people, but Resni would have lost something to Lucio and the Reaper on top of that. Resni right there is pretty pretty clutch. I think that honestly, uh Panther could, could have could have potentially won this point. That was some big coming out, but no. Resni said no, I'm killing everyone on this point and nobody's capping my points, and that's what he did. He protected his payload no matter what. Big picks there from Resley to clutch that out there. They're gonna hold that point. Absolutely. That's gonna be hard. Panther's gold now, they have to stall. Yet again, they're gonna have to hold uh, Apocalypse from taking a full three right now. As we said earlier, like e even if Eden's not in the the roster, like Resley and Madwell for literally like very good players as well. You know, e they're very very good. The Reaper from Resley is very very good, and Mad Madwell's Mechery is actually getting some very good value as well. Honestly, the DPS power from Apocalypse is really to be feared from uh, Panther right now. Ready for battle. Very much worth noting, yeah, and. I am in guitar and shades uh, offering nice competition with some of their own big plays coming through now they're gonna have to use this bob here uh, they are running the ash and that bob can be big that ball bob especially when you're on defense here you really just need to stall that time if that bob goes on card every time that by default just buys you more time than if you don't have it yeah very that's very true um, Apocalypse right now giving a very hard time to, um, giving very hard time to, um, our friend to, uh, from Panther, uh, giving a very hard time to Panther, sorry about that. Um, giving, uh, giving a very hard time to Panther, right now. Uh, honestly, um, I don't know what's gonna, how this is gonna go. I think that Ash might be a very good pick for Mime Guitar. If I'm gonna pop something up, Ash is a very good character in the current meta. So, maybe it can go, for, it can, it could possibly go, um, Panther's way, but, hmm, I don't know yet. So, as I see the Enzo Reaper coming out from the uh, Throwing Trip Apocalypse right there, a pretty big to the Raw slash Champa. So the Reinhardt just sick. Oh, Veneno big, got a big, gets a big on Billionaire right now, right at the beginning of the map. That's very bad right there for um for Panthers. Oh, but Zarya gets, oh, but Madwell gets oh. a very good pick on Mike of the Guitar. He, that doesn't, he didn't get any chance to pop up, but oh my, Panthers actually bringing this back, potentially. Venno going down off and fluorescent in there. Shades finds him now. The point is being held by Apocalypse, but Panther's goal. They're just going to stall it out, and that's all they need to do enough to force Apocalypse off the point after that pick. Absolutely. Apocalypse has a very good pick in the Reinhardt there, but unfortunately, they just, I don't know, they kind of scattered, and, the, uh, and Panther just took advantage of that and killed two, and now they're just in control of the point. Uh, there, that, that's a big rotation, a flank rotation right there from. Uh, from Apocalypse, Veneno out kind of by himself, the Lucio hiding the... Oh, did he just hide it? I don't know what's going on, the Valkyrie's out from, uh, from Pender right there, and Barbiton is dead, and Matt Wolf is following him in hell. Uh, we're okay, I think that at this point they're just gonna clean up, and I think Apocalypse is just backing up. Yeah, Orion and the Reaper are stuck inside, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Probably, I, they're hiding? Oh, I think Billionaire is going for them. Ah, uh, no, they're just backing up. I, that's kind of confusing right now. Oh, oh, Billionaire with a big pen on chat is that's kind of unexpected right there. Yeah, Ben, finding that pin's gonna be massive there. Now Apocalypse is gonna be able to hopefully get this point. No shine, he says no thank you. He's gonna pop his ultimate and find Benno down off the shatter that doesn't really find much. Now I am in guitar effect. Yeah, shiny looking twid. That ad is grab and killing him instantly with the whole hog. And then uh, shiny's. I mean, shiny's kind of like he's the shadow that is carrying. He's caving in the shadow right now. He's caving in the shadow and sleep. I think that a very good play coming out from shiny. You look at him like is the road dog. Oh, okay, why? But I, 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 I know. I, I understand why shiny's the road dog right now. Well, Veneno with the double hook kill right there, and the DPS just killing everyone else. I'm gonna get are getting a pick with Bob, but the Bob is not gonna last very long on point. 
impressive rotation once again from the from the uh, the back line here. The rotation from the back is uh, working pretty well for both of those teams right now. So Pentalifton controls the point with only a beat left. I would say if if Panthers come back to recontest that, they have a very big advantage. You know, twice it's awesome right there. I think that uh, Apocalypse is pretty for that. Yeah, they're gonna have trouble countering that now. The Coalescence comes through and finds one. The beats in oh, melee no. two are already dead shiny. Finds the melee on the Mad Wolf. He's gonna go down off the hook there. Now Twid backing his way out, but he's most likely gonna go down no matter what he tries to do. Now it's all in vain. Now oh, only yeah. a minute left. Apocalypse, the pressure is suddenly on. They have to flip this. It, it's been on the whole time, might I say, but now the ultimate advantage is still in the favor. Of Panthers goal, the Apocalypse has to get in here quick and make something happen or they're gonna give up this map. Absolutely, I thought they would actually use the Shadows Blossom and the Qualysis, but they only use Cold there to win a fight. And I think it's not even like the old economy that really made them win this fight. It's a mistake from uh, from Apocalypse right there. They're gonna have Blossom. Oh, Valkyrie Blossom might be very, very hard for... Oh, Mad Wolf though, never mind. Mad Wolf getting a big, big, but they're gonna... Oh, the Rez is coming out. Oh, Mad Wolf getting a Mercy on top of that. Madwolf says no, no res in my country. No, 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 going back. And then, oh, okay, the Madwolf just completely like unlocking the situation right there. I'm not sure for a bottle. It's very big play coming out from Madwolf once again. Madwolf in the clutch. Right when they need him, he pops up, finds two amazing headshots, and two picks to go with him. Yeah, I was, I saw him kill the Ash, and I was like, oh no, Mercy's gonna res. That's, that's unfortunate. But he killed the Mercy as well with a very good headshot right there. That's just crazy. Banano killing Gillian here on top of that. They're going pretty far. They're, they're even investing Ainu. They're killing everyone. They're like, oh no, no way you're gonna live in my in my map. No, no, no. I, I will push the payload to, till the end and nobody's gonna stop me. That's that's what they're telling us themselves right now. And you, know, you know, if it wasn't for that high noon, that Ash almost certainly wouldn't have died. So it is kind of big. It, you know, it's, it's an ultimate that isn't quite necessary. Oh, no. It does stagger things out. But now Mad Wolf goes down to a big hook from Shiny. Yeah, I, he was a little greedy there. Uh, that was a punish. That was a, that was a good punish from Shiny as well. As I said, Shiny oh! with a hard zone across the map. He ends up dying, but I think this is going to be enough for his team to regain control of the map. Oh, never mind. Rezzy with a big loss on there, killing two of the enemy team. Killing two members of the enemy team, and I'm going to get her all by himself, sending the bomb on point to stall a little bit. And throwing dynamite. The bob is getting pushed off point, but Veneno. Oh, okay, Veneno's just pushing the ball off point, and he doesn't care. He's like, yeah, goodbye, Bob. And Resty getting picked on a I'm in a guitar, and now the only one who points the ball, and the Ryan gets nanoed for a play. And the big Shatter getting the Mercy and the Ryan, and Shatter is trying to carry with a blossom there. He gets a pick on the Ana, but it's not gonna be enough. Doomfist coming back on point uh, and trying to do something, but he's just getting killed by Barton. Barton loses the 2k right there, and it's over. And Apocalypse win this map and win this series 3 to 1. And that's big from Apocalypse. They're amazing play all around. A big fight put up by Panthers Gold, but at the end of the day, they cannot hold off this attack and a play of the game actually coming through from Lucio. That's Baritone. You know what? Play of the game here right at the end. Finds one. Yeah. I, I heard Legends. Finds and I heard two. That, I heard that this Lucio actually entered the giveaway. You know, I think I don't think that's a coincidence, right? He entered the giveaway, and he, he won this map. I think you you got to make some link in your, in your brain right now. So if you want to win like this Lucio does, enter the giveaway twenty dollar from the BattleNet shop. You, if you are in the chat when we reach two hundred followers, you get a free twenty dollar from the BattleNet shop. It's it's very big, honestly. And if you want to win like this Lucio, you got to enter the giveaway right now. Yeah, enter that giveaway for your chance to win. And now we're gonna be picking our MVP here. What do you think? Jake, oh, honestly, I think even though both DPS for Apocalypse popped off at the end, uh, I still think that um, Eden deserves the MVP, honestly. Honest, Eden really, really set up the mood for his team on the first and second map. And third you know, map, I, well. I would disagree, but I would certainly struggle to. Eden making a very, very impressive case for MVP and, and certainly earning it now with all those picks coming through. And, and they do switch him out there. He, he's able to coast through that last match while his team vibes, but... That's going to be Eden on the MVP. We're going to see if we can get him in here. Eden was... A... <laughs> Eden what didn't want to have to stay to be picked for the MVP because he wanted to sleep, but he is the MVP, so he has to stay. Here Wait, comes Eden. Right? Gonna get him... No, no, he was... Uh... We told him this... We told everybody to stay in the chat uh, around for the, uh, for the MVP. Oh. You don't need sleep, you just need uh, the interview. That's all you need in life. <laughs> interview and the giveaway. All right, we'll be getting Eden in here soon. 
We'll wait for him. Big plays all around. Plenty of questions to ask. Uh, team John played Krat great all So John Crad got himself. Said Jay Silly. Always here. He, how's it going, Eden? Congratulations on the win. How do you feel right Congrats. now, guy? I feel pretty good. <laughs> Something like it. <laughs> so, what were your guys' mentality going into that game? You know, I'm sure you guys maybe have some, uh, have maybe done some homework on Panthers Gold. Were there any specific players you guys were looking out for today? Uh, we didn't really look at specific players, mainly just comps they'd run, comps they like to run. That was pretty much all we did as far as research on them. For sure, well, it showed through. Uh, one thing we were seeing over and over again was on King's Row, those tires were finding two picks oh, yeah. very consistently. Um, really great plays. Uh, you know, what were you thinking there, uh, especially on King's Row? Uh, were you worried that you were going to break your streak of finding two kills? With that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's definitely a worry thing right, to worry about. So, <laughs> very important thing that's on your mind. <laughs> they weren't really shooting them, so it was kind of easy to get <laughs> value with them i don't know <laughs> certainly helps uh any last questions before we even heads out I, I i was wondering um on the last map did you already know that you would be switched on like range centric map or like how did it work out did you know that we're gonna get you, you would get swapped or did you yeah uh, you would play until the end i mean on um that map we're thinking we're gonna run like double hit scan so we threw our hit scan players in we didn't end up running or we ran reaper and I guess we did run double hit scan. So I guess that is why. Yeah, it's kind of a like range centric map, right? So I agree, it's kind of very dominant. Yeah. Well, right now. So yeah, I think that's especially, it's kind of like a Navano map, right? Where like the map is just so big and so open area that it's kind of dominating. So yeah, that's, exactly. a, yeah. Uh, that's a pretty good, um, pretty good decision from uh, the organization right there. I agree. The ball this is very, very, work very well for you guys. Yeah, for sure. Rez kind of popped in that last map. Absolutely. Giving a shout out to him real quick. Oh, for yeah. sure, yeah. No doubt. Yeah, I mean, we really struggle pending the MVP because I think that everyone in your team really <laughs> played very well. Yeah, definitely. But you overshine a little bit. It's always that uh, Eden with John Crowd. How can we just not <laughs> give him MVP? That would be like an offense, like honestly. So, I um, mean, yeah, any more questions from you, uh, Jump in here? I think we're good. Thank you, Eden, for coming by and, and thanks for this MVP interview and, and an outstanding performance. Congratulations on the win, Apocalypse. We'll see you guys for the next match. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. GG's. GG's. GG's, everybody. See you next time. See ya.